I'm uh, reading from uh, Chronicles of Cosmic Space Case, book four, just a paragraph that first uh, related similarly to just the previous uh, reading. The whole idea is to become more aware, and this is achieved by constantly stepping into the unknown. We are aware of whatever we are at any given moment, and as we become more aware, we are afforded better options and positions in life. We can then make better choices that make more sense with the whole of life. We will better know exactly what to do in every situation. We are less and less the effect of creation as we become more and more aware and eventually when we decide through the five bodies of the personal self to stand 100% real with life and the guides, we no longer are the effects of the creation at all. We have superseded it and its necessity. And I was thinking related to that, a um, couple of books came to my attention. Um, not that they're books that are necessary to read, um, but they came to me and one of them is called The Undoing Project by Michael Lewis, who's a famous writer of um, movie uh, uh, stories such as Liar's Poker, Moneyball, and the blind side, which I think is about the um, uh, large um, adopted uh, football player. That is, when he was young, he was adopted by a woman and raised through high school, and he became a, uh, a excellent professional football player. Um, Moneyball is also about football. Uh, and uh, the money that's involved in purchasing talent through the draft uh, and et cetera. Uh, anyway, um, the Undoing Project is about uh, an individual psychologist who produced or breathtakingly original papers on the science of behavioral economics. And what that means is, I think, what we're talking on is how um, we can create economic um, facilities uh, by studying the behaviors of people and uh, analyzing them. But what the writer is actually saying, in part in this book, is that the analysis by the uh, so-called psychologists of behaviors is up to their supposition and most likely their current attitudes or their uh, choice of uh, interpretations that the psychologists will make about the people. And largely, it's no more accurate than if an AI took the symptoms down of the uh, individuals' behaviors and uh, analyze them uh, or actually produce the uh, um, conditional uh, uh, response to their behaviors. In other words, what uh, uh, should be done for the person that the AI is able, at least as able, if not more so, to produce the accurate and perfect analysis that will work for the person. This is true in the health analysis as well, taking health symptoms to. Uh, now, if that is the case, what we're moving into in the next era here, which I think is coming very quickly and uh, coming upon us in the next seven to 10 years, uh, where AI will almost be um, indistinguishable from human experience or that the use of AI is going to become so 
dominating and or um, uh, orchestrating, we'll say, that uh, life will be changed for everyone and is being changed and manipulated and modulated. Now, I'm not saying any of this is good or bad, plus or minus, but it is something that we should be aware of because it's part of this uh, wholeness that we're experiencing at the same time. Yes, the all is, but it is also uh, totally, let's say, uh, counterproductive to the true, uh, the real awareness in a sense. And it would be like saying that consciousness is our real awareness, which it is not. All it is, is what we are seeing that we are aware of that may or may not be real, but it doesn't matter. What matters is that we're using consciousness uh, to affect decisions when uh, actually we, the idea I get is that the true reality life is, is always ever present and that we don't need our consciousness to analyze or to adapt as much as we need to, or more better is to just continue to be in the real awareness and the true reality life is as much as we are able. We're using most people and teachings and educations and, and religions and whatever use uh, and systems use their consciousness. And that consciousness has been modulated, moderated, obfuscated, dominated, controlled, uh, or associated even just in the general sense, uh, mostly because of the attitudes, teachings, and ideas that have been presented throughout history and continue to be uh, promoted and directed ever presently. And especially now, uh, the AI. So when we get an AI or an automatic analysis of something, uh, using all the factors that have been presented, it can be extremely accurate except for maybe the one thing that it's not really the true reality life is that's being analyzed. It's just either our human behavioral systems or our uh, social economic uh, uh, behavioral uh, uh, governmental religious control modulation. So uh, it's a very fine line between the two. And we are walking on it, I think I could say, very much so, um, trying to stand uh, on the peak, um, looking down, if you will, or uh, being inside this uh, of the sun, looking back at the planets and the system and the dimensional uh, reality below. Okay, so there's a couple of different viewpoints there to share. And um, that's pretty much that one. I had a dream with my brother, older brother. It's very brief. He was on the top of a mountain. And that's not a place that he normally goes anyway uh, at all. Um, but uh, he uh, slipped. I was way off in the distance observing. And he slipped and fell and tumbled way, way, way down all the way, crashing and so forth, screaming at times uh, as he fell and came down. And that was it. Uh, I said, well, that's it. He's gone. Um, or, or something like, you know, that was the, my feeling of what this is about. And, maybe a projection and it doesn't matter what i got for myself was is something about um coming off the mountain and um uh, or something like that there's it, having to do with my uh, let's say i was using this behavioral science book as a model um and uh 
I think that my brother represents uh, someone who's using the social, cultural, economic model very, very seriously and literally, uh, intensely literally. Um, and uh, that has caused him to slip and fall, uh, not able to hold on to anything and uh, prevent his uh, crash, if you will. And that's what happens with all of us. And I suppose you'd say in our lifetimes we go through and you really don't want to hold on to these uh, perspectives and uh, conditions, conditionings. I, my brother wouldn't be a person I could communicate this with very readily. I've tried in all kinds of ways. Um, I told him about the histories of our past life families and connections with all of that and tried to say, you know, look at this is all, you know, without saying directly, I just said, here's some points of reference uh, that I used. And um, I think this uh, uh, that returns me back to the books that we're reading, which are fine to read other people's books or at least to look through them. Because what we're doing is identifying the references and how they've been used, and perhaps they will give us the insight and a point of consciousness that's valuable. Um, but mostly, there's it, we read between the lines and through what's being communicated, and I think that's also good here with New You You. Everything that we hear and see needs to be, at some point or some way us individually pulling it and uh, or using it or whatever term uh, 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 perception we want to use I, I guess said right words uh, the real awareness is where we want to be at while we're doing these things whatever they might be and that, that's uh, my uh, educational process right now thank you Val um, you, 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 there's another one where I take all the old songs and then I kind of, well, I'm going to throw some new yous in there and kind of fiddle with it and see how the melody fits or, and, uh, you know, have, have fun with it. So, you, 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 you. Kind of like what we do Sundays. That's good. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Thank you, man.